I think there's a suspicion now that there may be life on Mars, but it looks like the conditions necessary to support life are present on the planet, in particular liquid water below the surface uh, and uh, some kind of geological activity. It looks very likely those conditions are also present on Saturn's moon Enceladus and Jupiter's moon Europa. So there's a, within our lifetime, you, you can imagine a scenario where we find life has emerged spontaneously on another object in the solar system. The other exciting thing is that we're at the level now where we can not only find planets around distant stars, we've found well over 2,000, but we can also analyse the atmospheres of the planets and we're right on the edge of being able to do that. We're getting to the point now where we can start looking at the rocky planets and analysing the atmospheres, the chemical composition, and if, for example, you see a lot of oxygen, it, that's a smoking gun for photosynthesis. Within the next 20 years, that we're going to be there where we can start looking into the atmospheres of these rocky planets. So it could be we discover life on a planet beyond the solar system from its chemical signature.